Hey, what's up? I'm Luke and I'm gonna show you how to search for bookmarks with Alfred. I got a question over email and also got some lights that I'm testing out. So making a quick video, here we go. So by default, Alfred has a bookmark search feature. I'll go ahead and show you where it is. Here's the help document about it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Alfred. My keyboard shortcut is command space and I'll do command comma. And then I'll go to features and bookmarks. I'll go ahead and activate it. And then one thing that you need to do is make sure that Alfred has full disk access. So I'll go ahead and open up system preferences, the security setting, go down to full disk, ac full disk, full disk access, and make sure that Alfred is selected. If it's not for you, go ahead and do that. Restart Alfred. And then I'll go back to the Alfred preferences under features, web bookmarks. For Google Chrome bookmarks, you can choose the profile that you want Alfred to search. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Luke. And you can either have it show up in the default results, which means if you search for something, you can see the bookmarks here, or if you wanna have a keyword, which I would prefer, you can do that here. So I'll do via keyword and my keyword will be BK instead of BM. Kind of sounds like something else. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bookmark for my website, shayluke.com. So I'll go ahead and do shayluke.com and do command D and I'll call it PLCL. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up Alfred command space and I'll do BK for bookmarks and I'll type PLCL and then it should show up. Once you have the one that you want, you push enter and it'll open inside of the default browser that you have set. Now, another way, which I think is really cool, let's say you use a lot of bookmarks and they're all over the place and you, I'm just gonna show you another way to search it. So go ahead and do command D for all of the bookmarks that you have or just the existing ones or the new ones that you wanna create. I'm not making sense, but we're gonna go forward. Command D, PL1. And then I'm going to make a folder called bookmarks on my hard drive. When I do projects, I save all kinds of bookmarks inside of each project folder so they don't necessarily have to be within one specific place, which is the advantage versus having it just in Google Chrome or Safari. So let's say this is main project and then I have this part of my project. Let's say it's a client website or something. It saves it as a weblock file. So all I did was I went to the left of the URL and then I dragged it over to the finder. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Alfred Preferences and this is in the free version as well. I'll go to Features, Default Results, Advanced, and then I'll drag one of the weblock files into the user-defined file types, which means weblock files will be searchable by default. So without having to have specific bookmarks, inside of Safari or Chrome, I can do command space and type public library of Shay Luke. And you can see that the weblock file that I saved is showing up in the default results. This is very cool. Now, if you already have a bunch of bookmarks inside of Chrome or Safari and you do wanna transfer it over to the finder so you can organize them differently, rather all in one place, all you have to do is go to the bookmarks manager in Chrome or Safari, and then you can drag them into the finder. You do have to drag them one by one, and I did make a script for it, but just an example, if you want to save project-based bookmarks in your project folders along with your design files or your working files, you can search the weblock files through Alfred as well. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at hello at the productivity shop.co or join the Productivity Shop Slack channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Woo! It's been a while since I've done one. I'll try to do more soon.